hey, thanks for watching. I uh, was out a couple of weeks. We just had, me and Nicole just had our third child, Wesley, and he's a bundle of joy. We love him, and he's been keeping us busy along with our other two, Caden and Grant, who are a little older. Um, but I want, we wanted to get back at this. Uh, I want this to be encouraging to you and, and lift you up. And so last night, what we talked about at Youth, um, one of the things that we really centered the message around uh, was this quote, we need to choose love over our ill-intended opinions and focus on the lost being saved. I believe that's one unified purpose that God has given us all is to seek and save the lost. I mean, Jesus came down from heaven to do that. And so I think through scripture, it's very clear that, that God commissions us to go out as a church, as a body of believers to proclaim the name of Jesus. And here's an encouraging passage today. How great is your goodness that you have stored up for those who fear you and accomplished in the sight of everyone, for those who take refuge in you. And that's in Psalm 31, verse 19. So how great is God's goodness for those who fear him? So friend, I want to encourage you today, this week, to fear the Lord, for he is almighty and he is great, and he wants to shower you with his goodness if you fear him. And what does that look like? Fear looks like coming before the throne of God and acknowledging how much you need Him. Acknowledging how weak you are without Him. Only then can you experience God's goodness in your life. And also remember to take refuge in God. Hey, we go through things all the time that we don't quite understand and, and sometimes there's dark areas of our life. Maybe there's skeletons in our closet that we don't want other people to see because we're afraid. But in those moments, remember to take refuge in God. That way you can experience His goodness. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for whoever's watching this video. Lord, I pray that you encourage us. I pray that you strengthen us. Lord, I pray that there, if there's anyone watching this video and don't know you, Lord, that they would acknowledge Jesus as their Savior, return away from their sin, and trust in your Son. Holy Spirit, we pray for you to guide us and to lead us. Give us the courage to stand up for the things that we believe in, in love, and God, we give you the praise that you so rightly deserve today. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys later.